Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks at Lyons Bourbon Bar. You got Matt and Keith. We're about to do some goggle fogger today. Video number three. Hi guys, welcome back. We are on video number three here. We have us a Goggle Fogger German style Hefe Weizen wheat Rhyme. ale. Yeah. Rhymes Boom. with Weizen. Rhymes with Weizen. Weizen, Weizen. <laughs> Boom, right there. That's what you get. At Weizen's Bourbon Bar, we do big things. So we got us a 5.4%. 5.4%. This is really low for us, but this was also recommended for us to do. It was. So that's so why we recommended this. this. Make this sure you shout her out here. Steph Zachary, this is for you. Steph Zachary, we got you. We're doing the Fatheads Brewery uh, Hefe Weizen just for you here. Because she wanted the wheat. She wanted the wheat beer to, to do. The wheat beer. So yeah. now we got you a wheat beer here on number three. Killing it. So uh, Keith is going to show us how to pour this beer because... I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to pour this, but I feel like he told me it was going to be super cool, so I am waiting for this. It's you definitely ready? different, but like I said, this is kind of, this is one of those similar beers to this Einger and Schneiderweiss. Yeah, These are two of the popular ones in the country. These are two of the popular ones in, out of Cleveland that are actually really famous in the country because they have won awards for the Great American Beer Fest. Nice. It's, and that's where they drink out of a booth. I feel like that's a thing, right? <laughs> they, they, I'm, I would almost guarantee they do. Boot. Yes. So, but we're not gonna drink it out of a boot. We're gonna do it out of this crazy cool cup. So Keith brought. it's an actual wheat glass for this purpose. Now, these are a little bit different because they're not fully filtered, where there is gonna be sediment at the bottom. So he's pouring into the glass slowly here on the side, and. So you don't do the full the full cup here. No. So right now there's about two ounces, maybe three ounces left. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is kind of spin it around. Because of the sediment at the bottom, you want that in the beer. So right now... It's super foggy. It is still foggy, but... Let me move this out of the way. You can put it up on here if you want. Like that way you guys can see it out here. So when we pour it in here... Oh wow, that's darker. You can tell that's already So darker. at the top it's darker and then it'll start. Oh, they're sitting down. What is there that stuff? So that right there is the yeast sediment and some proteins mixed in there that are settled. And then it's going to spread the flavor throughout the whole beer now. So those little pieces are going to spread the flavor throughout this whole glass that we're going to go So in? yeah, there was some broken up cool. that you can't see all together. But like right there, you yeah. probably can't see it on camera, but there are some actual... Chunks of sediment is how I will call it. There definitely is some chunks in there. <laughs> I'm like, what is all the little funky things sitting in the bottom? So, oh wait, they're floating. Are they supposed to like flop up they're, like that? You see it? You see it? It's like, oh, no, now it came back. Well, I'm going to well, no, move it. There's still some there. So, but how long does this take to fully affect the glass that you're drinking out of here? Like, So, yes, not a, the full flavor is not going to be there, but most of the flavor is going to be scattered throughout right now. Oh, okay. So, so, we, can actually, like, so we can actually yes, drink, drink this right now, Okay. and it won't affect it. Well, we're going to pour it out of that glass because I feel like the pouring thing was super cool in this. So we're going to see if we can get this in these glasses, and we're going to try it out of our sifter glasses because I like the sifter glasses. So the... When you when you pour it, your head goes away. In, so in I took the head away, but you can oh. spin it a little bit. Like the way I poured It'll it bring was it just to up. make sure I didn't put enough in there to kind of. This is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a this I'm is a lot of yellow beer here. So right there, there's about five ounces probably in your cup. That's a lot. So Matt is not a fan of beer. I'm not. So I'm, I, I'm slowly working my way. Like I, Keith knows the beers that I like. This is why I like Keith can go to the store, find ones that I, I he thinks that I would like. And then normally, he's, I don't think he's been wrong yet. So so with this one, this again was based on the recommendation. Yes. This here is actually my favorite style of beer. So that's why I, would, I had plenty to bring over for him. Oh, yeah. So He's got a crazy collection. We can put some pictures of your collection up here if you're okay with it. Yep. Like, and you can, you can show the people. So like down here and down here, 
Uh, we will have pictures of some of Keith's collection that's at his house. Um, while doing these videos, we will also, Keith will be putting some on there that relate to the beer that we're doing or beers that Keith just yep. think is super cool that wants to share with you guys. We will be posting the videos down in here. You guys will be able to see it. And I feel like that's really cool because I have a lot of bottles that I like. I like this and this all for different reasons. Keith has the same thing. And I think that's awesome for him to share it with everybody. On top of the beer glasses that I collect, so which is super cool too. We could probably do a whole episode on that. So, so we'll see how you uh, what smells you get from this one. Lemon, orange. It's very fruity, and then there's a very weird beer smell on the end, which I'm not the best person at describing beer, as we've learned from the last two videos. Um, okay. So right now I'm getting a hard spice smell which a lot of people will get clove as the smell they're getting. I can I can get that. And then they will Just also get like a banana flavor with this beer, even though it doesn't have banana in it. It's I can. just the yeast. It's almost like a pineapple banana kick in there, like the citrus this, aspect coming yeah. through on this. Because the that's where I went, was going with the with the lemon and the... Uh, this is very different. It almost smells like a... <laughs> <laughs> I, I have what I want to say and then I'm gonna actually I'll just keep it at that yeah. so all right so if I was to let a cider sit in a glass for like three days I think that's where this <laughs> the scent would go with this but it's a it's a fruitier flavor than just an apple so you have like a I would give this a pineapple and a banana and a orange peel taste like not taste smell um, I would give it all that it's very citrusy uh, that overpowers the beer smell for me, to be honest with you. Like a thousand percent honest with you right now. I don't like the smell of the, the weird beer scent in it, and I'm not getting that. So, yeah, and this one is lower on the IBU level. It's only a 12, so it's not going to be oh. super bitter. It's just, you is know. Is that on here too? Yeah, turn over to that side. It's going to have the ABV, which again, lower at 5 point, lowest that we're probably going to do for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and at 12 IBU, and you're, you, you, you did tell us in, in uh, one of the videos that it, your IBU can be above 100. It, it, it can go above 100. Most people will not or not want to drink it, but uh, brewers try to uh, blast past any number that is normal. I would. That's why I like 150 proof stuff. Because I'm like, yep, I want that. This They'll really, try to push everything past everything. Is how I feel I like put as it. this sits, you lose the scent of citrus that was there when I first got this. Maybe it's because I'm spinning it around like a crazy person. No, that's fine. It's going to bring the scents out. And... But it's really going away. The, the sweetness of that's going away, and you're getting a very mild, mild hoppy scent over a very citrusy, sweet scent. And it's changed just from us sitting here for the couple yeah. minutes we've been here. So, you ready to go yeah. at this? Cheers. All right, cheers, guys. What the heck? <laughs> Actually, it's really not horribly bad. Why does this taste so watered down, though? So, I think part of it's because you're used to beers that are over 10%. That's going to change some flavors. And if you drink... You know different bourbons and whiskeys it's gonna hit the tongue differently this definitely does so um okay i'll tell you what i'll go i'll go i'll go right at this because uh so i feel like you took a bunch of uh citrus flavors checked it in a glass you put some beer in there and then you watered it down a lot and then it got down to the point of this tastes like i have a beer that's been blended in with a lot of water in the glass so, and again, this is not watered down. It doesn't have a watered <laughs> flavor that most beer drinkers will get. But again, if you compare this to barrel-aged stuff, if you compare it to high-proof, high ABVs, it's going to feel weird. How many of these does this take you to get to a point of comfortableness of, like, I could sell you a couch right now? Um, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it's hard to compare, but... Say if it was me compared to you, I would say a six pack is going to put me to the point where one I should not be out in public <laughs> if I'm driving, especially. Well, no, you yeah. definitely you, you shouldn't be driving when you're drinking um, all kinds of stuff anyway. Yeah. So that's that's already that's um, a given on us, you know. <laughs> but 
I but it like also depends drink... on how quickly you're drinking it. Again, it's harder to drink 12 ounces compared to one and a half to two ounces. That's where I was going with this. Okay, yes. okay, I'll tell you what. How many one ounce pours of Booker's 126.4 proof would it get me to go to one can, a whole can of this? Again, you got to compare it that way. It's it's. It's like a half. One to one. This is one to one. There's because no of it, if with one ounce of Booker's, which is sixty twenty six point. Okay. Five. Proof. So at one ounce, you're looking at about twenty two grams of alcohol in it, so wouldn't that be which like, is what a twelve one, ounce right? can of beer is. So one shot of Booker's is at one ounce. To this. A full one and a half. That's probably. That'll that's probably be a little bit more than that. Yeah. Okay. Or wow. close to. I even equal. find that hard to believe, but I believe you. So it's like it, that's that's uh, again. It's because you have to drink a full twelve ounces to compete with your one to one and a half ounces. That is true, because you. I mean, a little ounce isn't. Gonna, you got two sips you know, compared to a whole 12. glass. This would, I feel like I could put down a lot of these. I. I you can, but again, all those ounces are going to add up quickly. But I feel like this is just gonna make me like feel like I'm full and ate a whole lot of stuff. Where I could drink a lot of that and I still want to eat. But this, I even drank this much of it, and I don't, I don't know that I want to eat. I feel like I'm almost full. Like it's weird. It's very beer to whiskey is a whole new. This is a new concept for us. So we're getting through <laughs> this and we're learning as we go. Keith has been very nice and teaching us all this and like, okay, Matt's an idiot with this, so Not we're going to bring it, him up and that's what we're going to do. And again, that's cool. I appreciate it. We just have to remember, 12 ounces to one and a half, I mean, think about it, you know, I guess you would have to drink a full water and one and a half shots. You know. Oh, well, yeah, because this tastes very watered down to me. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm not being funny, and I'm sorry if this is your favorite thing. And I, I that's that's awesome that it is. It's my favorite thing. You see? Trying not to be disrespectful, which he's not. I don't ever, I don't ever want to be disrespectful to someone because everyone likes something different, and I'm more than willing to try what your favorite thing is. And I feel like because we've been doing this long enough, but we've only ever done ones that were like, "Hey, Matt's gonna like this." We have to, we definitely have to do ones that keep likes, and I don't have to like it. Actually, I think this isn't really bad. I feel like I could just drink a whole crap ton of these and still be cool and could still sell you a couch right now. Like, and I feel like that's the thing. <laughs> So, you know, he is a better salesperson than I've ever been. <laughs> so. But no, this one, this one actually isn't really that bad. So I wouldn't really be that mad if you sent me this over here and you came to the bar and you're like, Matt, I brought these beers. And I'd be like, all right, cool. Let's wash that down with some bookers and we're going to be happy. And that's what it's going to be. And that's super cool. But uh, I feel like this is a good, uh, how much are these? How much would it be if I went so to the store and I said, I want a six pack? You get of a these. six pack of those, I believe for 11 bucks right now. There you um, go. Similar to Prosperity out of Market Garden. Mm -hmm. These were two of the beers that got me into craft beer years ago. Mm -hmm. um, the, so this was, is the reason that you have the beer collection, yes, the signs and is. the cups. and the yeah, th That's awesome. Really that's awesome. And it was actually my buddy about 15 years that got me into these that got me to try different things. Even though 15 years ago I couldn't stand the flavor, right, right. my flavor profile was changed. So right. my it always now, It does. It yeah. does that. With everything, too. It's not just beers. It's with everything. Because I used to not be the biggest whiskey guy in the world. Now I'm like, give me a glass of whiskey and I'm happy. So it's like, everything changes in life. That's just how it works. But you could pick up these at the store at pretty much anywhere, I'm yeah, guessing? Yeah, pretty much anywhere around Cleveland is going to have it. I know they're distributing even more throughout right. the country. And even if you can't find this brand, you can find this kind of a... a, a half what a is bison. This? Yeah, a half a we bison do. at the store, yeah. and they're they're around $11 for a six-pack of these. So right. you can go find those anywhere. That's super cool. So basically, like we tell you in all the videos, we hope you're drinking something. You let us know what you want us to try next, because that'd be super cool, because that's nice. where this one came from. So you let us know. And uh, make sure if you're drinking while you're watching us, please don't drink and drive. Do the smart thing. Get an Uber. Call TJ. Call your mom. Get home safe. People love you. And make sure you subscribe. Check out the videos. Every Thursday we'll be doing a new beer. So if you got an idea, let us know. We'll see you guys next time.